welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Radar. Special K, and tonight we're doing 99 Black Cherries. It's a, a black cherry liqueur. Didn't you call it blackberry when we did this last time? It might correctly? have been. You know what? Uh, it's, 40, it's it's pretty much 50% alcohol by volume. It's almost 100 proof. It could be 99. It, it could be 99 uh, proof. Oh, it specifically says serve chilled. This is room temperature. Uh, made in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, it's very warm in this garage. About it's about 76, it's, it's, 77. It's almost 80 degrees. Whew. Whew. You have fun with that. Look, 99 anything. Oh, I said that. I'm drinking it too, so. Everyone knows what you're getting into. Everyone knows what we're getting into. If you don't know, oh. leave it in the comments down below so that I can be sad. It burned my nostrils. Oh, Take yeah. Take a big weef. It's kind of viscous. <laughs> right? I, I really wasn't expecting it to burn my nose. I thought you were being overly dramatic. So it smells like cherry icy and very and everclear. <laughs> cherry icy and everclear. It smells like some sort of weird cleaning product. Like like specifically to be used in a, a building that's only got like pre-kindergarten you know kids. What, you in know what it. I do appreciate about the 99 brand in general? I like the fact that they don't color their products and they don't try to claim that they're a vodka. They're just a liqueur that they know what they are. All right? Oh, they are aware. Everyone else is aware too. Let's go ahead and all the people watching this catch our mouth on fire, shall we? I smelled it as I was in, as I was about to take a drink. That's that's not a good choice. Just so you're aware. All right, it's got very strong cherry flavor, but it's got a very unpleasant up front, and it's very sweet. It's almost like an almond liqueur. You get a little bit of that in there. It's I don't like that at all. Isn't it kind of dusty up front? Oh. Do you get a dustiness? That's weirdly sweet. Mm. No, it tastes like... Is it? Does it seem hotter than it is in the room, too? Yes, like? it does. It tastes like it's about 95 degrees. It does. It's got a strong the cherry black flavor. cherry flavor. It's not that bad, though. Strong black cherry. Honestly, that might be what makes this... I think you need it. Think. What makes this consumable compared to everything else. Man, it's it's just it tastes like a cl a cleaning product. It's it's a little strong. I don't I can't see myself taking shots of this. No, uh, no. The the cherry flavor isn't bad. It's not. No. Oh, it's, oh the it's, flavor itself. The cherry flavor itself. The upfront flavor. It's very um, like it's dusty. It's like had a weird dustiness to it, and then on the back end, it's it's get a strong burn. And also, like we mentioned. It's almost like it's night. It's like really hot in this room for some My reason. My tongue feels clean now. Look, it's rated straight, and we'll go from there. I think it's a. I'm gonna go with four and a half. A four and a half. Yeah. You know we haven't agreed on anything today. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give this a two and a half. It's not that bad. It's that bad. Not that bad. That bad. Well, you know what that means. It's gotta no. go in the booze bottle. We already have, no, it doesn't. You said it. You said it. I haven't had a phone already. You know now. what? I'm gonna make my own booze bottle. Look. And it's gonna be good. Drink your 99 cherry lemonade. Mmm. <sighs> Tastes like weird dirt. The back end's good, the front front's weird. Is it tastes dustier now than it did before. It does. It tastes like actual dust. Like I went by a 200-year-old uh, mansion and just ah, licked the bookshelf. Uh, the good charity wood, right? Ha-ha! <laughs> I hate you so much. Um, no. After you get uh, past the dustiness, it's not that bad. It gets sort of, uh, you get that cherry, it's sort of cherry icy kind of flavor. But that um, upfront flavor is a little bad. If I was a few in, I probably wouldn't notice the dustiness. Yeah, I don't think so. It's like uh, it's it's kind of like a dry wine. Before you judge me, shut up. It's kind of like a dry wine kind of dustiness. But the cherry doesn't. It it's not. That's not supposed to be there. Pretty sure that's not supposed to be there. Uh, the cherry's not supposed to be there, or the dustiness? No, no. The, okay, so, <laughs> so think about, um, think about yellowtail 
what's the what's the dry yellow tail? But the dry One white the they have probably the Zinfandel or something. No, no, the Zinfandel is super sweet. The dry white kind of yellow tail, it's it's dry like that is, but that the cherry runs over you like a train, just hell, look and kills you. Look, it's a five mixed. I would drink it. It's pretty average for what it is. Uh, I think, though, uh, you need to re use this pretty sparingly. So I think you need to have a lot of mixer and a little bit of the old uh, black cherry. 99. I can taste it like in the. What do you, what do you think, number wise? No, like a four. Even as a mixer. It's better, though, isn't it? Yeah. I'll, I'll say it's better. I'll admit that it's. I have something in. <laughs> I think I have something in the corner of my mouth. Yeah. So I don't like that at all. It leaves a nice flavor in the mouth, huh? Yep. Well, do you recommend it? No. Should we do? If you guys want to see more '99 products on the show, make sure Too you let bad. us know in the description down below. Um. I can't recommend it either, only because there are better cherry liqueurs out there. For instance, the Krupper Cherry Schnapps. I know it's a much lower ABV, much better cherry flavor. Um, you could easily use some vodka Everclear and mix with that Schnapps to make it have a uh, better flavor, and it would be, you wouldn't get that weird dustiness that this has, you know what I mean? But all right, that's been our episode. If you'd like to see anything else on the channel, you can leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that like button. I'm Special K. I'm Radar. Thanks for watching.